All right, so how do we implement a service endpoint or private endpoint inside of Azure? Let's take a look. Here we are on portal.azure.com. I'm going to click the menu button here, and we're going to go to resource groups. And let's go to the VNet Demo RG resource group. All right, and then from there, I've got various VNets that I have set up. Okay, uh, let's say that I have a virtual machine that's running on VNet 2. All right, so I would click VNet 2. All right, if I look over here, you have service endpoints and private endpoints. Okay, so if I go to service endpoints here, I'm just going to click add, and I'm going to select um, the whichever service I'm making available. In this case, if I'm talking about a storage account, then I'm going to choose Microsoft.Storage. At that point, uh, it says, all right, service endpoint policies, which there are no policies implemented involving service endpoints. You can set Azure policies for that. And then I would specify the subnet that the virtual machine is on. Is it on both? Do I have virtual machines on both subnets or just the first subnet? I'm going to say I have it on both. And at that point, I'm going to click Add. And just like that, it actually establishes an internal connection with the storage account services in my region for storage accounts. All right. It does take a moment to show up. Now, if I go over here to private endpoints, I have no private endpoints. To do a private endpoint, what you actually have to do is uh, go to your resource group, click create, and then just do a, a search for a private endpoint. Okay, so you establish a private endpoint just a little bit different. There it is, and you go through the process. You can uh, go through the wizard for creating the private endpoint. Uh, let's go back and let's see if our service endpoint has shown up yet. All right, so we'll go to VNet2, and we're going to click on our service endpoint, and it looks like it has been established. So it is officially set up on that. Again, you can also go through the, the wizard if you want on the private endpoint and play around a little bit with that. Just make sure that you're, uh, you have a storage account available with uh, where your VNets are, and then you should be able to establish that. But all in all, very easy, very quick and easy to set that up. Hey, this is John Christopher. I hope you enjoyed that video, and I want you to know that I'm trying really hard to grow this channel, so I hope you'll give me a like and a subscribe. Also, if you'll check the description in this video, I've got a link for you that can show you how you can get access to all my different courses. I have lots of different Microsoft certification courses that'll help you pass your exam. All right, thanks a lot for watching the video, and I hope to see you again.